for the design fees. Right. We might only be eligible for $500,000. Yeah, I mean, whatever that piece would work out right. to be, but with the current plan, the old plan, being paid off at 2011 and 2012, that facilities fee, as we have always talked about, <coughs> how many years, and probably since that time, 2011 2012, that money, they took that money out of the sewer and moved it, I believe, into the A fund and used that money to keep the A fund afloat, which at the, at the end of the day, obviously, will hurt your, your sewer fund because if the plant was paid off in 2011 2012, then that money should just went into an account and saved for this now new project. And we would have had probably close to a million dollars yeah. to start the project. Um, but that, I, I'm, I'm more than sure that that thing was paid off in 2012. I will, um, it's a great question. I'll look into yeah. that between now and, make sure. and Friday just to see exactly what what the holdup is. What is it? In fact, that has it been rolled well, into something else. I think it's the when they first started. To get I know that we do out. have a a Dan on that. Yep. And that's what. Um, and yep. actually, EFC was saying that. Well, we're waiting for the the first check for the contractors. Yep. But that has nothing to do with with the contractors. It has to do with the design, the design portion. Yeah, that's each one and stuff. Where does the, uh, how are we paying back the 13 million, whatever it is, for the sewer plant? Where's that coming into, uh, is it in these numbers? No, right. but so that was up here. Them? That That's what I was saying, that we really don't know where we're going with the with the sewer yet. Oh, okay. It's going to be, we received a bond from um, EFC for 13 point something million dollars. Um, half of it's a low interest loan. Okay, so when does that have to be paid? When, as as we borrow. Okay. Yeah. Not 2020. Doesn't it start it, a year? It after might be. It starts after. Yeah. Like 2019, I think, is the first payment, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's <laughs> what that's one year. For the new it's up there. That's the 175 thousand dollars. Okay. That I should. Was, uh, I think it was. That was. It was more than that. Yeah. No. Um, it's, it, it's it was five. It's half a million dollars. Yeah. 475 And that's why what we have right now in the sewer fund should cover that first year payment. Right. Now, taking that $13 million, we also received a $3 million grant. We start with the $3 million first. So in essence, we borrowed $16 million at 2% interest. Okay? If, if all of those dollars were to be used... Okay. We don't want the sewer plant to go over $10 million. So minus three, okay, that leaves us with a $7 million um, at three and a half at low interest. Then I, 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 and I do want to um, agree with Kevin that, and I said it at one of the meetings that I wasn't going to have comments, but I did anyway. Well, it was on your way out. It was on my way out, and you were split up. But... I really get a very nervous feeling because there was a board a couple years ago that kept it at zero or nothing one and we got screwed and the foreclosures are right. rampant. We're getting taxed out of our homes and I just really think that I'd rather see us Raise it a little bit, borrow less, just for a rainy day. And put it in a fund, like a savings account or something. You know, like was said, if we paid that off in 2011 or 12, those facilities, they should have been put in a savings account. Should have where's put all those? They didn't. Right. Well, right. Yeah. So kudos, you're watching. But let's look forward. I... I just my opinion, but I do agree with Kevin. I think a zero percent, everyone will love you, they'll give you a parade, but I just don't think that anyone expects it, and I think it would be better. You know, it's, not it, it's everything it, goes up. It, 
Yeah, and that's in our own home. And that, that's what the board is is struggling with right now. And don't throw eggs at me and Maureen on the way out. And, no. no, we're not. Because we have to clean it up. Um, that means we gotta call the DP dummy at three three hours minimum. Uh, if we stay at a zero percent, okay, we have to understand that next year we have more more money that that we have to pay but back. But then you might do two versus one and well, one. one, one you know, I'm, I, I don't know. That's yeah. just right. Again, just my opinion. Yeah. But no, it, it's something that we have to make have a decision on. That. You know, an informed right. you know decision. I don't think anybody would dislike you or go against. It's not you. about. It's no, not no, about no, me. Exactly. Or I'm or arguing okay. with you. You know, I, I look at it like this. Said. It's it's not. You know. All you hear out of Washington, well, not Washingtonville, they're not going to get elected again. They're not going to get elected again. It's not about me getting elected again. It's about me doing the right thing. Not my intention of okay. saying that. I'm just saying that. No one will be against or argue. I do, I do not believe anyone, well, someone's always said, but I don't believe yeah, that yeah. anyone would argue with a 1%. I think that's more realistic. Well, that's all. And, really and, that, that, and that would be, and that, and that would be okay, providing you are getting your streets paved Correct. and they start tomorrow. Correct. We're not, we're not empty promises. We've been empty promised for We're're years. We're working on infrastructure. Okay. Right. Now, we needed a, a truck. We did, but it shouldn't have come out of water and uh, out of the uh, the road page. Shouldn't have. <coughs> All right. Right. Well, the board, or the village, I should say, I'm going to assume doesn't have any restricted use accounts. In other words, money's put in reserve. We do. You, you do. We do, and I'll have those numbers for you at the next meeting. All right. Okay. Which has nothing to do with our fund balance. Mm -hmm. I found that. Out. I found that. Out. I think there's 13 counts, but we added three. Now we have 16 counts. I mean, one of the counts is 300,000. The other one's 700. And the other one's 700. So between that, we, we you know, we went to PAL, I believe. And um, so if that's earning interest, it's probably more than 300,000 interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have a budget for 2018 19. Last year's budget was 5.6%. So everybody's saying we should increase, or some people are saying we should increase. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you asked her to spit out the numbers, and she is. <laughs> but if, if you believe this budget is fully loaded already, what's the point of putting half a million dollars more into, you know, more than half a million dollars more into the budget? Because this is 4.6. Fully loaded. Mm -hmm. To get to the 5.1, right. right, you're putting half a million dollars. So you're saying on top of that, put another 1% just for whatever. When I, you already have a million. Well, thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we put that money away for roads. It's not really going to pay much. <laughs> <laughs> but we already have a million dollars in the fund. So remember, last year the argument was the budget was fake. We didn't understand the numbers. So if you're tracking those numbers and you're confident that this is a fully loaded budget, I'm why, sure. why add? Why add? Just, if you need the money, yes, definitely. But if you feel that you have everything you need in here, just for the sake of putting it in, right. I, I don't see why that's And that's good. something that we, you know, uh, I want to use the word struggling. That's something that we're struggling with. You know, because I, I, I believe that, that we don't need to raise something if we don't need to raise it. If we needed it, you know. I mean, I don't know what happened with the year of the 25%. I have no idea what, okay. Um, Even if you say that you're not going to increase it anymore, that's half a million dollars yeah. more than your fully loaded budget. But we're borrowing no, it, two it, million, right? Well, maybe not, or, or one or two million. Well, what, you right, see, so we would go out for, no. we would go out no, for no. a bond of two million, but only use 400,000. Right. All right. So it's you're only going to pay back what you use. Right. All right. But it's up to. Right. For uh, it's up to the two million. Okay. Now you mentioned the the budgets. We have a four point six million dollar budget. Okay. And people don't want to pay taxes. All right. 
the school is going to have a budget probably 90 million. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, so really that that one percent. It, it might mean something to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. One percent is the amount that the assessed valuation went up in 2018 over 2017. The village assessed valuation increased by $838,000 over 2017. So there's a little wiggle room there when you're talking about a tax rate. Not a lot, but there's a little bit. Because I think the big concern with people isn't the tax levy per se, but the tax rate. And that's what people want. Well, do you know what the tax rate was last year? Because, I like I said, well, no one really does. Okay. Um, you know, but these are the things that we as a board are struggling with. We'll continue to struggle with it. Uh, and, you know, let's see where where this takes us. Um, maybe Friday you can, you know, you know that 1% tax. You wanted to, well, add another 23% to it. I won't be here that way. <laughs> uh, Deputy Mayor, I have the doctor on the phone. And he is a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but we're watching, we're watching every penny. Penny is dimes, dimes are dollars, and so forth and so forth. So. You know, I'm just curious. Um, this bond issue, the sewer plan, theoretically, it would be cheaper and longer, and I would assume to run a plan because it'd be more efficient, so on and so right. forth. So in the future, there should be some sort of cost savings on the operating side. Granted, the, the, uh, the uh, indebtedness is still there. I've still got to deal with it over that period of time. But hopefully in the future, again, there'll be a, a balance or an offset where we'll see some savings in the sewer plants operating costs. Can I answer that? Okay. I think, yeah. Yeah, yes, actually, you, you're seeing it. Right now, now, even though it's still the old plan, the yeah. and Absolutely. the outsourced people that we hire, JCO, has already cut expenditures greatly, mm -hmm. and they're operating it at better capacity, at less money already so than our in-house staff was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sludge that they're taking out right. is probably half of what less than half. Less yeah. Than, yeah. Okay, they're doing it once at, once a month or maybe. Twice yeah. a month as opposed mm -hmm. to once a week. Yeah. And that's the two two thousand dollars every time. So it's really you know, it, it's the same amount of people <coughs> using it. Right? But they came in and they just started right from the beginning and it's the one of the best decisions this board has made. One more question. What uh, I'm thinking of the water main break on Tolman last week or a couple days ago. When you redo roads that might be something that's going to have to be taken into yes. account as well, that there might be additional costs because there, I'm sure, are pipes in many yes. areas. Yep. That need and I think we know where they are. Right. We just have to, we, we have to get to them. So we want to get away to from the, the New Jersey theory of roads. You pave the road and then public service comes in the very right. next day to start digging it up. So we want to make sure that we're, we're doing the right thing before the road gets paid. But that has to be like that. Yes. Like a certain percentage has to be. So that's where, the you know, the one million or two million is not going to do every road. Right. But it's going to do the roads. And, you know, would we mind paying in the budget each year? We're driving on a new road. Not, not being told it's going to happen. Right. If the water breaks like the point is would that be from the A fund or would that be from the water? The DPW uh, fixes the, the water main, unless we have to go outside. In that case, I think we went to the Nene Callahan because we were plowing. You know, they, they were throwing a lot over those, those past two days. Um, part of it comes out of the, the water. Right. Yeah. That's the point. So it, it's, affect, it shouldn't affect the A fund. Yeah. But the DPW is doing the, uh, the work. And that, now we go back to bonding equipment. They have equipment that might work, might not work. You know, this was one of the things, the first things I said last year. We have equipment down there that you need a tetanus shot to get in. 
Okay. We can't expect them to do their job with, with equipment that doesn't work. Okay, just like we can't expect the the police to go out with, with the Pelican to do their job. Hopefully they never use it. Yes. And the mayor said that the, the water fund was good, and I don't want you to, you know, get back on your heels and say, oh, the water fund is good, we don't have to worry about it. As of Sunday, this past Sunday, the unpaid water bills in the village amounted to $218,000. But those go to the tax levy from the county, don't they? But they go to the tax levy, but those are operating funds. It's like going to stop and shop and getting a car of grocery and say, well, I'll give it to you in March. Yeah, short term. Yeah, it's, it's, it's $218,000 outstanding, right, as of Sunday. So the water fund is good, but it could be better. And and we only, we only had the last three quarters uh, this year and the fourth quarter from last year. But we're going to show, we're, you're going to see a lot of improvements in, in collections in the water um, as we go forward. I mean, we only started in April, and to learn the system and to, <clears throat> and to do the investigations and, and, and run down.